Hey guys, what's up? So welcome to a video where we'll be implementing a search for our global contacts. So here we have the favorites component and we also have the component that shows the list of all contacts. So we want to be able to be able, we want to be able to search by entering different values in the search field. When we enter different values here, you see we match people and we can match by any any character so you see here i'm typing ez and we are matching for the last two so if we put like dz you see we match one this is actually one of the best use cases of using something like context because you see we uh the search bar is in the in the nav bar but we are searching across all the components so what we are doing here is we are dispatching a type and then with what the user is searching for so in our reducers we go ahead to filter out our global state which means that all the components connected to that global state will update like we see here. Okay, so I think it's gonna be interesting. If you're into learning context, I believe this will be one of the best ways to, to actually understand the power of context itself. So let's go ahead and get started. So we'll start by setting up our, our search in the nav bar. So we are, we are gonna go to our header inside index.js so before these menu items, I'm gonna come over here and set up and set up another menu item. So it's gonna be menu dot item. So this menu item will basically be an input. So we'll have an input. So this will have a simple placeholder. So something that says such contacts. We are going to need to set an unchange. So we can listen to when a user is typing. So let's add on change there. So let's create a function to change this. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna have on change. So const on change is gonna be a function. So in here, we want to first get what the user is actually typing. So for us to get what the user is typing, we are gonna destructure the value from here, like we're doing with the other form fields. So we destructure the name and value, but here we only care about the value actually. So we make sure we have the value. So when we come over here, I'm gonna set up a constant called search text. So this is gonna be equal to value. So we want to trim this to make sure it has no white spaces. And then we are going to go ahead and replace all the spaces that they leave in the middle. Just, not, just so we can give them a, bit, a better search result. So we'll repress all the spaces. So we'll remove all the spaces by replacing them. So this will go ahead and repress the first occurrence of the space. So what you can do is actually go ahead and do this using globally so that we we repress across the whole string that the user provides. Okay, so once you get the search text, now we want to dispatch an action that will be searching for this, searching for this. So here I'm going to create an action called search contacts and we'll get to that. So it's gonna take in the search text and then we need the dispatch because it's gonna to need to dispatch the reducer. And we already have the dispatch here from the contacts, which is good. So I'm gonna to go to our context, then actions, then contacts. Then I'm gonna have one called search contacts.js. So here we'll basically have a simple function. It's gonna be called export default function. It's gonna take in a search text. So we can put search and we're also going to need to get the dispatch so we can get the dispatch as we are sending it so once we get the dispatch we want to dispatch a type so let's dispatch type so the type is going to be such contacts so let's create this type quickly and then we need to send the payload so i can add here payload then i send to the reducer i send the search text Let's create this. So let's create this type quickly. So in our constants, action types, index, we can export this. So export const this equals whatever we gave it. So that should do. Let's make sure we're importing it. Okay. So now we need to handle this in a reducer. So we go to the context reducer. So here. Can add a con we can add another case so case search contacts so if we are searching we want to filter out the contacts themselves with the value that the user is supplying here so what we do is we are going to return this return contacts like this and then 
So what we want to do here is not to replace the data directly with the new search results, but what we want to do is be able to take back the search to the initial state when the user has cleared out the form. So let's say they were here and then they do this. So say they were searching for Sean like this and they were here. We want when they go back, we want to, to have the contacts back, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have another property in the, in the initial state. So in the contacts initial state, I'm gonna have another one called is search active. So it's gonna be false by default. Then I'm gonna have another one called found contacts. So this one is gonna be null by default. So it's gonna be empty by default. So now when we come here, so when we come here and we are searching, we are going to turn the is search active property. We are going to set the is search active is search active to true. So we're gonna have this. So is search active will be true. So we will only set it to true when we have the text or when the text is not empty, the search text. So you know here in the search we send this as payload. So here in the context we are already we already have we are already distracting the payload from the action. So we can use the payload. So here we will set search active to be payload dot length. So when we have the search text, we will set it to true. Otherwise, we will set it to false. So here we're gonna check if it's greater than zero. So what we do now? So we also need to turn this into a boolean, so we can use these two. So basically, what this means is we are saying to the value of this, then convert it to a boolean. So this will turn it to true if it's greater than zero. Otherwise, it will be false. And then we want to set found contacts. So now we we are going to filter the data to match what the user is searching for and set and set that as a value of found contacts. So what we do here is we are going to do state dot contacts dot data. Then we want to call filter on it. So when you call filter, we can have uh, we can have access to each of them. So what we do here is I'm going to open up this, then we will return the value here. So I'm going to have this. So we are going to return where the, the first name or the sec or the last name or the phone number matches what the user is searching for. So here we can do return item dot first name. Then we are going to turn everything to lowercase just so we can search without Minding the case. So to lowercase, then we want to search. So when we use the search, it takes in a regular expression. So for now, for us, we are going to search with what the user is searching for. So now we can pass this payload. So we also need to turn this to lowercase so we can search better. Okay, so once we have this, now this should be searching actually by the first name. Okay, so once we have this, we want to return if it matched. So if it matched, it's going to return a value that's not negative one. So what we want to do is check if it's not equal to negative one. Okay, so we will also do the same thing for the other fields. So we put an or operator, and then we are gonna put or, then we search for the, the second field, which will be last name. Then we put another one, which will be the phone number. Okay, so I believe this should do it. And now what we want to do is come over here in the where we show the contacts in the in the layout. So we go to layout. So you notice that we get the contacts in data. So right here, I'm going to set up another constant. This is going to be current contact. So we're going to set current contacts. If we are searching, we are going to set current contacts to the value of found contacts. And if we are not searching, we are going to set it to data. So here we can also get is search active. So we also want to get found contacts. Found contacts. Okay. So we want to check if search is active. We want the value to be the found contact. Otherwise, we want to use our initial data. Okay. So now wherever we have data, we can replace it with our current contacts. 
so let's say here we can use this instead even here we can use this instead okay so i believe that's it let's go ahead and test it out and see where we are so i'm gonna spin up the server so yarn start again or you can run npm start if you will yeah so such contacts is not defined we need to import it so let's go to the header make sure we import it so now if you come back to application you see it renders so we have our search bar so now when i start typing let's say i put a so we get an error so you're seeing lowercase of undefined so this is item the first name so this is here so we want to make sure that here we have the item so i'm gonna do a console log so console log the item hmm. it actually could be the payload so let's take a look at the payload so i'm gonna go ahead and cut this one out so i will i will, I will go and select the other ones then i'll copy them then i will i'm going to set another search value so i'm gonna have such a value here so we set that constant here so const such value this will be equal to action to payload to to lowercase so this console log payload actually but if that's the case and we want to stop the crash we can actually do this so let's take a look at what we have it's gonna load again i'll put an s and it's crashing oh yeah so this is the problem guys this should be last name damn it okay so this should be last name make sure you have it set and fine so now if you come back to the application and try to search let's put a c you see it is searching put another c it's gone clear out it's searching clear out it's gone so when i clear everything the search is reset so we turn the is search active so we turn the is search active off when the payload is zero when the payload length is zero when the payload length is zero and that means that a user has maybe cleared out this that may, that means that the user has maybe cleared out this so we go ahead and turn is search active to false so when you turn it to false in our component so in our layout here when we turn it to false you see we go ahead to use the initial data that was there before so meaning that we can dynamically show the data different pieces of data depending on the state that we are in so when we come and start searching let's say r e we show this so when a user removes everything we reset this to the initial data that we had so this is gonna do it for the video if you enjoyed it consider giving it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching bye